Well, hello everyone. You've come through to Fantabulous Speaks, and as always, I'm Olivia Rose. So today is my review on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Tom Foolery, the season finale of Ridiculousness. Did I just sit there and say season finale? Oh my lord, Jesus, take the wheel. Mm. Crack on a Wednesday, my name's not Lisa Wu Hartwell. Get together. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Fantabulous Speaks and as always, I'm Olivia Rose. So today we are here to talk about the tomfoolery that is The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season finale. Yes, darlings. So first, let's get into what everyone wants to talk about. That is Mimi versus Kim. Blow up! So, here is my reenactment first before I get into my role. So, here's my reenactment of what I think that happened between Nene and Kim. Now, first, here is Nene. Toy Ford Party is my song. It is my song. It is not. Oh, no, you did not. I knew you would not. Uh, uh, uh. Now, here's Kim. think actually happens actually I mean it seems plausible doesn't it I think so so now let's move on Kenzie and Nene what was that fight about again you owe me an apology oh my goodness y'all I was about to laugh I loved it when Kenzie was like good thing they don't pay Nene to think but aren't y'all also glad wait hilarious point are we not all glad that Kenzie was like, what the fuck you gonna do? When Kim, when Kim was sitting there talking about some, I'll take my shoe and I'll beat her. Bitch, please. But I'm very glad that they did talk about Nene's caca. I thought I was the only one and I thought that maybe it was because, you know, sometimes when your hair gets in your face, you know, it makes you look a certain way. But y'all ever notice that Nene eyes like this? <laughs> Poor little Sheree. Just in case you missed it. Let me run you through it. Oh my God. If it were not for Dwight, that show would look like poo poo ka -choo. You know it. I know it too. So, um, yeah. I'm also having a problem with the fact that why was there fur pieces? And why was the line like representing? Actually, what the hell was the line representing? I didn't understand. You had a corset, you had a jeweled dress, you had a see-through top, you had a what? No. Did you not notice that everything was just like weird? And then also, when is there a fashion show when all the pieces are not the pieces? I wonder how that goes. Like when all your all the pieces are not your pieces, like how does that rock out? Because I was confused. Talk about production. It was production. It was overproduction. But when you underproduce in the quality of the line, well, goddamn. Oh, goddamn. Obviously, you know, he had to do something. You gave him a secretary blouse. Now y'all saw what I was talking about? And Taylor meets hooker store? Hello? Exercise videos? Exercise videos. Fashion line. Exercise videos. Fashion line. When the hell did those two meet? Who is her business manager? I think I'm starting to understand where Sheree is getting her fashion sense from. Have you seen Lawrence? What the hell is going on with that look? What was this feather thing? How many times do we have to see Lawrence looking a hot mess? All my gay men need to stand up and smack him the hell down because he looked ridiculous. Did I not think that he was Diana Ross caught in the 70s on a bad hair day? No, man. Oh, uh, no, man. That is bad. Wrong. Oh, I almost threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> Boo -hoo 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 -hoo. Mm. You're a liar. And let me tell you how you are. It's so very cute that Ed wanted to get on, you know, camera and not sit there and be like, yo, honey, we broke, we broke. And he was like, we got to do some restructuring. Basically, we broke, we broke. 
So, let me let y'all in on something because they ain't gonna lie to me, honey. I am a banker. You are not gonna lie to me. The bank took the house. Lying, talking about some we wealthy. No, honey. But let me ask y'all a question. Are they that broke that homegirl couldn't come to a better decision on the outfit? That shit looked like it was aluminum foil made by Reynolds. Like, I mean, the choker thing would have been cute. Like, the whole thing would have been cute if the texture or the fabric didn't look like tinfoil. Like, it looked like she said, Ed, hold me down. And then, you know, he wrapped the big damn tinfoil all around her body and stuff. Like, it was very weird to me. I mean, I know you got a downsize, boo-boo, but you can't afford, like, you know, a dress. No? So all the Kim haters. Now, I'm not saying Kim is my girl. Candy is my girl. You know, I'm all team Candy. But I'm going to tell y'all this. My girl is pimping the game. And you can't hate on her. Because so far, she is the only one who I have not seen publicly downgrade. My girl is spending $12,000 a month on some damn wigs. Hallelujah. Don't Hate the player, Nene. Hate the game. Ain't nobody told you to marry that old ass man. Now, I love me some Greg, but let's keep it real, boo boo. You even said it in a sister to sister interview that if Greg didn't have any money, you weren't too sure if you were going to be with him. Hmm. Hallelujah. Is it me? Or is all of a sudden this year, you know, Sheree's trying to be relatable by acting hood? Who gonna check me, boo? I'm a lot classier than Nene. Who gon' check me, boo? What the fuck is she doing? I don't understand. Like, do you have to do, like, man tan to be relatable? Is Does she think that, okay, because people, you know, took to Nene last season and she thought Nene was hood? She, I mean, she's trying to be, she went from stuffy and stuck up and nasty to, who gon' check me, boo? We all believe you, boo-boo. Sit down. And with a ham sandwich, does Sheree spend time with her kids? I mean, a housewife, ain't you supposed to be around your kids sometimes? How is it that you never see her around her kids? This whole season, I got to see Kim spending time with her children. I got to see um, Candy spending time with Riley. I got to see even Nene spend time with Bryson and her baby. And all you see Sheree doing is having her kids either move they have themselves in the house or she's turning them back they bat her back on them talking about some bye y'all i'm going to my independence party like is she serious now throughout the season i know a lot of you were probably very confused at what the ham sandwich was coming out of nini's mouth and so i've created what i like to call nini isms so let's walk through them first we have Athlete. Athlete is a pro sportsman who makes money from the sport. Athlete. Next, we have Laya. Laya means Kim. Next, we have keeping it real, honey. And keeping it real is whatever Nini says it is. And last is Gold digger. And gold digger is uh, the whole cast, except for Candy. Yeah. So, I'm very glad you guys checked in for this week's tomfoolery. Please stay tuned because I know that the reunion show will not let me down, babies. And it will give me all that I need for my tomfoolery reporting on the real housewives that is the recession. I mean, of Atlanta. See you next week. Peace. Honey Bunches, don't forget to show your love, rate, comment, and subscribe.